Hi, Taurus. This is just with your um, <laughs> uh, with your first week of November general read. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. If you're interested in checking out all of November and December for the two month future predictions, read check out the link in the description box below. And also um, stick around if you are interested in the extended. We're going to look at your person um, for the love portion of the read. We're going to I'm doing an extended read for you lovers out there. So if you want to look at your person um, and all the details of the questions that I ask. Um, and we're going to do all signs for each sign for your sign. Uh, do check that out in the description box as well for the extended love read or the two month future predictions. Let's go. Love. Love is on your mind the first week of November. <clears throat> I do see that you have it on your mind. For some of you, you are closing a cycle so you can kind of say goodbye to a harsh cycle in your life and preparing for a new one. A one that you have learned many lessons. You've closed that big cycle. For some of you, you're ready for love. You're ready to start a new chapter in your life. Some of you could even be thinking about going back to school, um, going and starting a completely new type of career. Um here as well, I just see a cycle, a complete cycle are, is ending and you're feeling it overall that this cycle is complete and now you can kind of move on to the next stage of your life. There's going to be someone that comes out of the blue first week of November for some of you. Um, if you're a Taurus man or the man here it may be trying to reach out to a woman that has feelings for him. She really likes him or she's in love with him. Um, and he needs to make a decision whether or not he's going to take this woman serious. And if he's willing and ready to put the work in, because there are several people um, that he can choose from. Now, do be careful because someone could be coming back into your life, Taurus, uh, because there's not a lot going on out there. Um, so he's coming back into your good graces. For some of you, this could be a, this is definitely someone, you know, Um and so now someone could be scratching at your door out of the blue. Okay. Yeah, you may feel like it's best to keep walking away um, to ignore this person, but you will be at a crossroads because a part of you still wants to entertain it. You're not so sure that sort of thing. Some of you may even assume that you're that someone that you're with or know maybe sings another person so you may find out of the blue you get some type of information word message um, insight um, if that's not the case then do expect someone to be coming your way wanting to kind of see about you but um, their intentions will not be long-standing they will become in inconsistent down the line Work looks really good. Um, there's a lot of avenues in which you can pick. It's like you felt like you feel some of you Tauruses at work. You feel like you're in your sweet spot. Um, you're getting all the good projects. You're doing all the work that you kind of want to do. Um, you, you may really like the work that you do and the people that you work with. I do see getting attention, accolades, standing out out of along a side of the crowd. Um, first week of November, getting the attention, but good positive attention. For those of you who are looking for work, it looks like you're going to get it. And finally, you'll feel like you're kind of like released from purgatory, like you can get out of your mind about things because you're going to get an opportunity. It's mutual. So there may be some negotiations about salary and pay, but it looks like you guys will come to some type of um, agreement and you will finally feel like you can get out of your head about the situation. Your business may veer on the side of overwork. You may feel like um, it's toxic, your business, or it just requires too much of you. You're going to sit down first week of November and kind of get your wits about yourself with your business. Find out where you are with it um, and start trying something completely new with your business. And I do feel like it will make a huge difference uh, with you making, yeah. New opportunities will come your way, trying something new. You may be doing what's trendy. You may be doing some research and finding out, you know, what's out there. How else can I, you know, adjust my business and doing whatever you're planning to do with this business is going to work. It will bring in some more money for you or it will set things back on track. There's going to be either someone coming in again, a decision Taurus has to make about um, do I respond? Do I accept the person back? Do I reach out? For some of you, you may say no. Um, others of you, you may give someone communication just to get some closure, closure or understanding, and then you will say no. 
<laughs> so it looks like whatever this is, whether it be you or another person, you may find yourself saying, okay, bye. Now let's look at love. So ladies, you're showing up as um, someone who definitely um, is willing to start again. You're willing to start over. Um, you may even be approaching relationships, ladies, in a very fresh, innovative sort of way. Um, you may not be telling people what all you've gone through, what all experiences you've had, but you will give them a clean slate. And you're looking to invest, like you're looking to start new um, in love and you're wanting to really grow a relationship. You're not just looking to have a good time is what it looks like to me. Like you want something real, 100% uh, real. Um, I do feel like you, some of you have an ex here who still misses you, who thinks about you ladies very strong, who even may go through bouts of depression over you at times. They have to kind of release you only to pick you back up again. Moon cycles may be really difficult for them around this time, like, now we just had a full moon or a new moon. So you may have your this ex person thinking about you pretty heavily. OK, ladies, it's the person that's on your mind. So whoever's on your mind, um, they may be trying to release you slowly but surely. It could be really hard for you to let go of an ex uh, towards single ladies. I do see that. But there's a part of them that kind of wish that they could have a new start with you is what it looks like to me secretly. That's what they are wishing for. Um, some of you, will you have new love coming in? It looks like you definitely have the past coming back to you secretly. Someone is trying to find the right words uh, to say to get back into your good graces. They may use the holidays as a good entry point to get back into your good graces. I do see that even if it's children that you share, this person will do whatever it takes to try to get back close to you and try to reconcile and bring things closer together between you and them. So new love um i see more old love i see more someone that even if you just met them like briefly it could be something like that where communication just slowed down or stopped altogether i see someone coming in and wanting to make something work with you single tourist ladies will it work i see you um i see you ladies kind of stroking someone's ego or you know throwing them a bit of a bone <laughs> You may be more than willing to see if it'll work. But I feel like you ladies may have a lot of different emotions. One minute it's like, well, no, I'm just going to focus on my finances. And then it's like, hey, I want to have a good time and I want to be horny. And then it's like, well, I want someone to love. So you are you might be all over the place, honestly, uh, when it comes to love. Some of you could even be giving someone a chance that you may feel isn't worth it because he gets around quite a bit. Let's look at Taurus single men in love how are you showing up in the first week of November in love like a great catch like someone who isn't about to play any games who is you know um above the rest um someone that a person can bank on no drama how does the ex feel about you at a crossroads? They're not sure if they want to reach out. Sometimes they find themselves trying to close the cycle. Next minute, it's like they're not so sure. They want it forever with you. Things did not work out. And a part of them may have felt like if they rejected you or, or broke up with you, Taurus single men, they may be having regrets at this time. They also could be saying that they're justified in doing just that. Um, either you were not available to them. Or if you were available to your ex, you played around a little bit too much and they felt like you wasn't taking the relationship serious. Um, so they still think about you. Will there be new love? You will have someone could definitely reach out to you that, you know, already text message, you know, message you in some kind of way. You will have someone reaching out. There's somebody a new, uh, thinking about you heavily right now has been thinking about you si since September. Some of you guys, a person may have to accept a woman may have to accept you leaving her and her having to let you go um, because you may maybe just, you know, living life on your own terms and no one's going to tell you what to do. So new love could possibly come. But I do see some of you men going after a particular woman that you hold at a high esteem. 
and new love can definitely happen. Be careful. She could get pregnant. I feel some of you men are still thinking about someone in particular that you care deeply for. Let's look at couples. It's like a lot of messages wants to come out for Taurus single men for the first week of November. Um, how do you feel about your person, Taurus? Some of you may feel like this relationship, one, your relationship looks, looks very karmic. Um, and it and it looks like you are very strategic in how you handle things when it comes to your person. Some of you could hold them at an extreme high regard and you're willing to fight you to do whatever it takes in order to remain and retain your relationship. Uh, but at the same time, some of you may be a little bit there's a greed attached here. So this person could be giving you exactly what you want. Like um, they're valuable in your life. Put it that way. This person could secretly be pregnant or had an abortion secretly that just came out. Um, this person's feelings toward you is changing uh, where they may have felt like there's a lot of growth and expansion here. They may start to feel like they don't really trust you. Um, and, They're challenged with you. For some of you Tauruses, you're dragging your feet and wanting to really go to the next level here. They may feel like, to some extent, they're getting, um, um, what's the word? They may think that, they may feel like you are stringing them along. You're challenged with them. You have somebody that may think it's all about them. That's the problem. Um, they're so self-focused that they really are void of anybody else's feelings. They could be really harsh in how they communicate or how they come across uh, the walking away, the inconsistencies. And again, someone you may feel like your person is doesn't care as much about how they come across. They don't know when to take a minute and take a beat. Um, some of you may also not be. Be not so forgiving in whatever they've done to you in the past. So whatever their behavior is, they may think everything is fine. You're not so sure about that. What do you want it to go? You still want to work it out. Some of you, um, you may know that you will miss your person. Some of you feel like this person, um, you want to work things out. You want to be proactive in working this relationship out and working it out. I got a strong Sagittarius here. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, here. You know, you have someone here who's not communicating. I don't listen to us. They want you all the things that they're not telling you they have strong feelings for you deep regrets and this may be someone who that will say you don't know how I feel you don't know what I've gone through you don't know how you've made me feel you don't know you don't know you don't know well no because they may not be the best communicator uh, they could use silence as a weapon or they're just not good at communicating because it's someone that has gone through quite a bit, whether with you or without you, a lot. But it looks like, you know, you want this, Taurus. You guys want this. You want to work this out. You want to balance it out. You want to work your relationship out. You want to get down to the bottom of where the problem is and go from there. That's that's where you're at with it. And there's a part of you that may feel like if you can acknowledge who they are, like I, I'm acknowledging this relationship and your importance to me, you want to see the same from them. That's what I have for you guys. If you're interested in looking at um, your person and looking deeper into what's going on with them, the challenges of this relationship, what are they holding back? What do they want to tell you? Their secrets. Um, where do they want this to go? Their next actions and steps, where's things going to go in this relationship and all signs do check out the extended love read down in the description box below. Otherwise, that's what I have for you guys. I hope this has been helpful. Check me back on the next one. Take care, Taurus.